part well, of the is problem is they're overwhelmed. I mean, $25 billion is being spent on fighting identity theft. You know, you think of identity theft, it's more your credit card number, your, your phone, something like that being stolen. This is totally different. This is you supposedly endorsing something, a certain behavior. This which, is celebrity catfish. Had you heard, had you heard right. of this, this term before? I had never heard I had of never it. heard of celebrity catfish, catfish terminology sure. where a celebrity's identification is used to push a product, in this case, allegedly a, a prostitution ring um, this is becoming more and more common. I want to bring into the conversation because you added some really good tips earlier. Um, joining us now via Skype is technology lawyer Christina Gagne, who, uh, Christina, I know that you are very well aware of a lot of the social media risks out there. What can we do to protect ourselves, whether we're a celebrity or not? You have to treat the social media and online world just like the real world. So just like you wouldn't walk down the street and tell strangers personal details or share a family photo album, you have to act the same way on any social network. A good example of this is Facebook. A lot of people want to share photos of what's going on in their life. You can actually set privacy settings so you're only sharing that type of content with particular people. I think this also applies to geotagging. In a lot of situations, people don't know that if you're using Twitter or Facebook, it's automatically geotagging you and telling you, uh, telling other people, you know, where you're located. So, so really Chris, understand Chris, Chris, the Christina, privacy real, settings. Real quick, so whenever we put a picture out there or Amber does a Ustream and puts a video out there, does that automatically make it public property where anyone can just steal it and use it for whatever purposes they want? Is there any way you can protect yourself from those types of things? Yeah, on a platform like Facebook, you can actually set your privacy settings so you can change your profile from public to private. And so that's the first tip I would give is make sure that if you don't want all your content being shared in a public feed that might get picked up by Google, make sure to change that setting. Uh, second, um, you know, whenever you do publish something on the Internet, whether it's Twitter or Instagram, you have complete control over who you share it with. So I would always advise just know what the privacy settings are on the platform. They're usually pretty easy to use. So make oh. sure as much as you can that the privacy mm. settings are, are strong. Now, you're in this case, yeah. you know, I, you I are mean, you're I in the public eye. Right. And, and, and this <laughs> was probably going to happen no matter what you tried to do because right. this, this was one of those scenarios where an older video of you was used um, unjustly. I guess I, what, I, I, I guess I just want to say that, you know, if you are an inspiring model or actress, you never have to give money to an agency. You never have to do anything demeaning um, to, to get signed to an agency or anything like that. Really, you just have to, what got me so far is my personality and just really just, you know, being a ball of sunshine and just going to talk to people and, and understanding that the worst thing they can say is no. And they've said no to me a million times and I kept trying and I kept trying and I finally, you know, got to where I want to be. But, um, you never ever have to send nude pictures yeah. or or money or anything or like have that. Have sex with anybody. Or or yeah. God forbid, have sex with anyone for for any type of you know a gig. This is a, a very sad scenario. Ongoing investigation. We will keep everyone highlighted. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.